dear students this video is about materials requirement planning the operations management has many sums out of which one of the important sum which you should learn is material requirement planning but before going to that we will understand few theoretical aspects of mrp or material requirement planning what is mrp it is the logic of determining the number of parts components and materials needed to produce a product mrp is based on dependent demand the dependent demand is caused by the demand for a higher level items for example tires wheels engines depend on their de demand depend on the demand for automobiles generally the mps which is master production schedule deals with the end items typically the finished goods and is a major input for mrp mps or master production schedule is a time phase plan specifying how many of each end items the firm plans to make and when bill of materials or bom bom is the complete product description listing the materials parts and components the quantity of each item and also the sequence in which the product is created the bom file also called as the product structure or product tree and it serves it serves as the input file for mrp computer program although mrp is a computer program we are going to understand the logic by solving a problem manually in addition to bom the inventory record file records file which captures inventory transactions also serves as an input file for mrp computer program the output of the mrp computer program will be the planned order releases for inventory and production control now let us understand with the help of an example how we proceed to do the calculations involved in mrp this is the problem from uh, 15th edition of jacobs <coughs> operations management by jacobs page 567 ampere incorporation produces 2 meters which are household meters for electricity consumptions tracking electricity consumptions and these 2 meters require two components c and d so if you look at the given product structure tree structure the meter a requires one unit of meter a requires one unit of component c and one unit of component d also to make one unit of component c we require two units of component d so in short to make the complete 1 meter we require one unit of c and two units of d for producing meter b we require one unit of component c to produce one unit of component c require we require two units of component d so this is the product structure or product tree which we are going to use in solving the problem the other information given is about the current on hand inventory about the finished products that is a and b as well as the component c and d the lead time that means the time which which uh, you know is required 
from the placing of the order to the receipt of the material so time between placing of order and receipt of material is the lead time which is in 2 weeks for item a for meter b also 2 weeks and for component c and component d 1 week safety stock that is the stock which we have to maintain which is for component c 5 units component d 20 units also there are some previously placed orders material we are going to expect in this mrp period in week 5 we are expecting we will get 10 units of item the meter b and in week 4 we are going to get 100 units of item d this can be from you know some other source now what is the mps telling us how much is the requirement of the meters in the ninth week from today from this week we require in the ninth week we require 1250 units of meter a 470 units of meter b at the same time we also require 270 units of a sub assembly d sometimes these sub assemblies are also required in the market as spare parts now currently they have given us for week 13 and week 17 but in this problem we are just concentrating on the week 9 mrp so how we are going to go about now if you look at this first row of the mrp we are having currently we are in week 4 and in the week 9 we require 1250 the of meter a the other information is captured here lead time for meter a is 2 weeks currently we have 50 units on hand safety stock requirement is 0 and order quantity is lot for lot what do you mean by lot for lot whatever quantity you require you can order that much quantity right so if you look at the gross requirement of this meter only in ninth week we require 1250 scheduled receipts we do not have any information about scheduled receipts for for a there is nothing hence scheduled receipts will remain empty throughout all the weeks now currently we have on hand 50 so that you know right now there is no requirement hence the 50 will remain as 50 here in the fifth week also 50 in the sixth week also 50 seventh week also 50 eighth week also 50 in the ninth week we require 1250 we have 50 so that means we require 1200 as net requirement so that means what we have to receive we have to receive 1200 in this week or at the beginning of this week then only we will be able to satisfy 1250 requirement in this week now because the lead time is two weeks we need to place the order or release the order for this meter a two weeks before and hence it will be in seventh week and hence planned order release we need to release the order for making meter a in seventh week 1200 here when we receive 1200 and we have 50 so 1250 will be satisfied and then what will remain with us will be zero hence projected available balance will be zero so this is for meter a now let us look at meter b in meter b our requirement is 470 in week 9 and also we are expecting in week 5 10 units currently we have 60 on hand no safety stock requirement lead time is 2 weeks so let us look at b 
so if you look at b currently we have 60 in the next week we are expecting scheduled receipt of 10 hence 60 plus 10 our projected available balance will become 70 in week 5 nothing is happening in 6 7 and 8 hence it remains 70 70 and 70 and in the ninth week we require 470 there is a demand for 470 if we require that means we require additionally 400 so net requirement is 400 now to get this 400 we have to receive 400 here to receive this 400 because the lead time is two weeks we need to release the order two weeks before that is in week seven and hence this 400 will appear here so this is when we receive 400 here plus this 70 we satisfy the demand 470 and what we remain with us will be zero so projected available balance for meter b in the ninth week will be zero now let us look at the components requirement now if you understand this product tree structure let us look at for c for every unit of meter a we require one unit of c similarly for every one unit of b we require one unit of c so c and c and d are going to be dependent demands so let us look at the c row first right so if you look at c row we already have 40 on hand but we cannot use 5 because it's safety stock so projected available balance we have to take 35 only because 5 will be remaining as a emergency uh, requirement so 35 will remain here 35 will remain here 35 will remain here we require to 400 plus 1200 because for making one unit of a we require one unit of c so for 1200 we require 1200 for for 400 we require 400 for b so the total requirement is 1600 in week 7 unless we have 1600 c ready available here we cannot start production of a in seventh week right so 1600 is our requirement so we already have 35 so the net requirement is 1565 so when we produce 1565 right we will be able to satisfy 1600 but can we order 1565 the answer is no because order quantity in this case is not lot for lot it is 2000 so even if you want one unit you have to order 2000 only so that is why we have to order 2000 here right now we have to receive 2000 here when we receive 2000 for this one week before we need to place order so this will be 2000 here now this 2000 when we receive we will be using 1565 plus this 35 so 1600 will go so what will remain with us is 435 so 435 will remain the same in next two weeks because no activity is happening now let us look at the last component d now if you see for d for one unit of c we require two units of d for one unit of c we require two units of d at the same time for one unit of a also we require one unit of d so d's requirement will come from two places one from a as well as one from c now if you look at this the requirement gross requirements for one unit of c we require two units of d hence it will be for 2000 we require 4000 here for one unit of a we require one unit of d and hence 1200 units of a will require 1200 units of 
B here. Unless we have this, we cannot start production of A as well as we cannot start production of C. Now, for D, there is a scheduled receipt of 100 in the first fourth week. Also, we have 200 on hand, out of which 20 is the safety stock. So, we have actually 180 available to us. We received 200 here, so uh, 100 here. So, we will have projected available balance of 280 here. 280 will remain 280 here. Here we require 4000. So we require 3720 as net requirement. Again we cannot order 3720. We have to order 5000. Right. So we will order 5000 here. For this we have to release 5000 ka order one week before because lead time is one week. Please understand. Even if we want here instead of 3720 suppose it would have been 5001 or 5010 we have to order 10,000 we cannot order 5010 or 5020 also it has to be in multiple in multiple of 5000 because one order will be of 5000 so this is how we will come to this the projected available balance will be 1280 here because 5000 minus 3720 1280 next week we will require 1200 and we remain it will remain 80 with us nothing is happening here 80 will remain but here we require 270 as our d components requirement so actually we have 80 so we will actually we require only 190 but can we place order for 190? No. We have to place order for 5000 only. And hence, this 5000 will be placed here, will receive here, it will be placed here. So for item D, component D, there will be two planned order release. One will be in uh, week 5, one will be in week 8. So this planned order releases are your final answers and even you know usually uh, this this table uh, usually will be provided in most of the exams because you know to get get give you uh, a clarity on what sequence this uh, uh, you know rows should be it's the format should be provided usually will be provided but you need to understand the logic of arriving at these various calculations Thank you.